Now we're going to check the iliotibial tract itself and we're going to check for a bursitis. Now if there is a bursitis in the lateral hip, the greater scrantric uh, uh, bursitis, uh, the, there's not much space for the fluid here, so it tends to go more dorsally towards the gluteus maximus. So I'm going to show you the area where you would scan it. So we start at the same position, we go up, 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 till we reach the bony eminence again, so that's our fixed landmark. Uh, then we see when he internally, externally rotates, we can see there, this is the iliotibial tract. You see that it's not moving. Meanwhile, the structures beneath it are moving. So this is the tract. And if I follow the tract, he relaxes the leg. We follow the tract dorsally. It's going to attach to, there we have it, gluteus maximus. So this is gluteus maximus. This is underneath the maximus this is where the fluid will go if you have a bursitis so the bursa is all the way over here but if it's distended it fluid comes in it goes back and it goes under the muscle belly right into this location so it's important to scan here i'm scanning up i'm scanning down i'm checking the whole region if there's any fluid underneath the muscle belly of the um, Gluteus maximus. maximus, thank you. I had a little brain a fart there, brain freeze. Um, yes, and that's it.